She's pretty happy with me right now. I tell you what, I fucked up. Christmas, I bought her a vibrator. She don't miss me as much as she used to. It's a good one, 35 horsepower. It's made by Black and Decker. Had a chain break and everything. I called my neighbors while I was on the road, and they said, Hey, your old lady putting in a pool? Nah, she just misses me. But she's pretty happy with me now. I took her to Bahamas for 15 days in February. That's because I fucked up the major part of January. And payback's a bitch. And payback I did $7,500. Women love it when we fuck up men. You know why? Because they get to put that thumb on our ass. Say, yeah, there you are, yes. All right, put your dick in the drawer. Go on, go on. You ain't going to need it. No. My old lady's sitting there writing them checks. Is it funny now, fat ass? Bitch. Yeah. We had a good time, though, I got to admit it. She wasn't happy to have a nice suite in a nice hotel. Oh, no. She had to have a villa. Listen to the women. <laughs> My favorite part of the villa, we had servants. What the concept? People that just do shit for you. Anything. Get up in the morning, God damn it, I feel like jogging. Julio, take off. <laughs> You get back, I just might want to work out, God damn it. You ain't tired, am I? I was talking to her today. I said, what's happening, baby? I miss you. She says, well, I went to the doctor yesterday. I said, no shit. You okay? What did the doctor say? She says, you know, the doctor said I had the breasts of an 18-year-old girl. <laughs> I said, did he say anything about that 35-year-old ass of yours? <laughs> She says, no, your name didn't come up, really. <laughs> she got real pissed at me one day. I know you find that hard to believe. She says, I'm going to cut you off. I said, shit, you don't even know where I'm getting it. <laughs> Wrong answer, guys. The woman got no sense of humor whatsoever. They were, I didn't get any for quite some time. Yeah. Talk to my boys today. Man, that's always a trip. A couple of wild little fuckers. I don't know where they get it. Yeah. <laughs> I was talking to them today, man. I fixed their young asses. I hired them a nanny. Old Irish woman. Ain't got no kids of her own to kill no more. <laughs> so I gave her mine. I'm standing in the breakfast nook one morning. I'm drinking a cup of coffee, getting ready to go to bed. <laughs> My boy stand there getting ready to go to school. She looks at my son Caleb. Now let me preface this by explaining to you. My son Caleb is an enthusiastic little shit. She looks at us, Caleb, what you want for breakfast? He says, I want some fucking French toast. <laughs> she just smacked him. Down he went. He's laying there looking up at me. I says, hey, I don't want none of that shit. <laughs> You're on your own, dickhead. <laughs> His little brother standing there needing nervous, boy. She said, Joshua, what do you want for breakfast? He says, I don't want no fucking French toast. <laughs> Give me some fucking eggs or something. <laughs> boy, smart, goddammit. Takes after his daddy. Whoever he is. <laughs> they say you should never hit your kids. I don't know who the fuck they are. <laughs> but they ain't never met my fucking kids. <laughs> I smacked them little fuckers just in case they're going to do something later. <laughs> What's that for? I don't know. <laughs> now, they, you, they say you should never hit your kids in anger. When are you supposed to rap these little fuckers? <laughs> when you're feeling festive? You know? <laughs> Get up in the morning, boy, I feel good today. Tommy, come here, man. <laughs> Boom. All right, now go play. Remember, Daddy loves you. Stand that shit. I wrestled in college, man. I did. 
I wrestled in college. Not that shit you see on TV, but I really am. This is collegiate. I went to the University of Michigan, and, and it's a fine school. And, and, and I, uh, I wrestled. We wrestled the Russians once. Oh, God. Yo, know, that shit ain't fair. I don't give a fuck. I was 19 years old and been wrestling since I was 13. And the guy I wrestled <laughs> was 31, been wrestling since he was six. <laughs> and I gotta wrestle this motherfucker. <laughs> Yippee fucking IO. <laughs> so my coach says to me, he says, hey, listen. He says, I don't want you to get hurt here. We need you from the future. This man is very, very tough. He invented a hold called the octopus hold, which can really fucking hurt you. That's when a guy wraps his arms and legs around your arms and legs and tries to like, break you in half. He says, so I'll tell you what, he says, I don't want you to get hurt now. If you get out there and he gets you an octopus hold, I'm going to give you a few counts to get out of it. But if you can't, I'm throwing in the towel. I said, don't worry about it, coach. <laughs> yeah, I'm confident. <laughs> I'm dick hard and ready to go, you know. Hostile, mobile, and agile. <laughs> So I get out there and I'm wrestling this guy, man, and uh, I last about, oh, 13 seconds, and <laughs> he's got me in that octopus hold. <laughs> but I reversed it, man, first time it's ever been done, and I beat this guy. I came off the mat, boy, my coach said, I cannot believe it. He says, nobody's ever, what the fuck, how did you do it? And I said, well, coach, I'll tell you what, you know how my ego is, I got to wrestle this, he got me that octopus hold, I was embarrassed, my folks are here. I was laying there all twisted up, and I looked up and I saw this set of nuts. <laughs> so I just bit them. <laughs> and you don't know the energy you get when you bite yourself in the nuts. <laughs> uh, I love my dad. I I remember the last words my father said to me before he died. Solid Joe, that gun's loaded. <laughs> it's just a joke, okay? <laughs> I didn't shoot my father. I didn't kill him. Okay? I love my dad. I, do. I love him, but I think he's losing his fucking nut. The man... The man mows the lawn all the fucking time. That's all fathers do. I didn't know why fathers moved, mowed the lawn until I had kids. Then I realized when that lawnmower's running, you can't hear them fucking kids. <laughs> Go bother your mother. God damn it, get away from me. I love my dad. But I'm a comedian and I need the laughs and he ain't here to defend himself, so fuck him. <laughs> I love my dad, but I could never go in the bathroom behind that dude. <laughs> what do fathers eat? God! Man had the same dinner I had! <laughs> had to have a chemical breakdown at lunch. <laughs> Something crawled up and that dude just flat ass died. <laughs> my dad had the same routine ever since I can remember. He'd come home from work, eat dinner, grab the newspaper, and boom, right in the bathroom. <laughs> Sitting there about an hour. <laughs> then he'd come out in this big cloud behind him. <laughs> Take one look at me and say, okay, son, you can do it now. <laughs> oh, no. I think I'll wait till I'm a little older, you don't mind. Huh? Got in there, burnt my eyebrows off last night. <laughs> my dad was gross. What? <laughs> Always walking around the house in them goddamn ugly boxer shorts. The ones that are so old, the ass is all wore out of them. Fly won't close, this dick keeps falling out. Walking around burping, farting, and sipping coffee. Yeah, that's my dad right there. I'm going to be just like him when I grow up. You can take my dad off of solid food for two weeks. Give him nothing but water to drink, and somehow, miraculously, he turned this into gas. <laughs> and you know when your dad's got something good like that, he can't wait to share it with you. <laughs> My dad would walk up to people he didn't even know. <laughs> Friends of mine, he's meeting for the first time, said, hey, how you doing there, son? Pull that finger. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about. Don't bullshit me, man. I look at some of the women, they go, what? 
Let's see me. Fart? 